Hey y'all, welcome if you're new around here. My name is Katie Marie, and today I'm very excited to be sharing with you guys my Menagerie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette collection. And this is the video I've been wanting to do for a while, honestly. It's been on my two film list for too long. I've been wanting to do it ever since 2022 started, but we're finally getting around to it and I'm going to share with you guys all the palettes that I own from Menagerie Cosmetics and I'm going to rank them for you guys from my least favorite all the way up to my most favorite. And it's just something that I wanted to sprinkle in here on my channel with the brands that I really do love and I have a lot from their collections and the palettes that they've launched and I have a relatively big collection. I figured it'd be fun to share with you guys how they stack up and like which one's my favorite, which one stands out to me the most, that type of thing. So that's what we're going to do in today's video, starting with Menagerie Cosmetics. Cosmetics. I think after this I might do Give Me Glow, but let me know what brand you want to see next. But with that said, let's go ahead and roll the intro and we can jump right into it. We'll start from my least favorite and work my way all the way up to my most favorite palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. Now, I don't own every single palette that Menagerie has ever launched. I don't own any of their little six-pan palettes that they did or the palette that they launched when they had their old name. They rebranded to Menagerie. I think their old name was Makeup Monsters. I don't have that palette, but I have everything else pretty much, uh, most of their, all of their big palettes that I'm aware of. So anyway, let's go ahead and start with the bottom. This is going to come in last mainly. I mean, all of these are going to be preference-wise because all of the formulas are just so very nice. I love Menagerie's matte formula, and the, depending on the palette, I love or don't love their shimmers. But anyway, preference-wise, coming at the bottom has to be the Flight Club palette. I'm sure this won't come as a huge surprise to you guys because you guys know I'm not a big fan of purple. So for me to get a whole purple palette, I don't think it's like shocking to anyone for me to hear that it's like, ah, oh, this is kind of at the bottom of my collection or the bottom of my favorites list because it is just so heavy on the purples. I think if they had a really deep matte purple in there, it would have, you know, it would have ranked a little bit higher in my head because it's like, okay, I could get a really beautiful, really deep outer corner to ground the look and just all purple and just go for it. But there, it's missing in this palette and it really did kind of bum me that they didn't have that dark matte purple. However, the formula for the mattes and shimmers of this palette were really nice. It just really is a preference wise. And for me personally, I bought the Flight Club more as a collector item because I do think the packaging is so super cute and I enjoy owning Menagerie Cosmetics palettes. So bought this more for collector's reason and hence why it comes in at the bottom for me when it comes to all of Menagerie's palettes just because I'm not a big purple person. Next up is going to be Menagerie's Pastel Pup palette. This palette was a lot of fun. If you like pastels, this is a great palette to go for. I love that they included a black and then one shimmer to be able to use with all of these mattes and it was as I said a ton of fun I don't love pastels all the time like I enjoy doing a little bit of pastels I definitely like when I can ground the look with a dark shade and then play with the pastels and really amp it up either with pastels in the crease or on the lid that type of thing but even though it's not my favorite type of color story to really dive in and play with uh, for any length of time like I said I did get a bunch of looks that I thought were a lot of fun the formula was really nice and I appreciated that while these mattes did perform best with a white base they still did show up and they were very evident and they didn't take a lot of work to get them to show up on my skin because a lot of times when it comes to pastels they can be so faint that you almost can't see them and I, I want my pastels to show up and these are nice and pigmented and super super beautiful so they do show up and I just love the emphasis on the greens and the yellows you guys know I like those tones so I like that they had two different type of greeny options here but yeah overall it's a really cute palette absolutely adorable cover but we're talking about color story and just like my preference and what I enjoy the type of looks that I enjoy getting it didn't land super high because there's we're going to be talking about a lot of really awesome menagerie palettes but if you like the color story that you see in this palette i did think the formula was very very nice in this okay next up i decided to put their newest palette next this is the sugar high palette that they launched i think a, a month or maybe two or three months ago i can't even remember but this palette the only reason it is landing low is because the mattes in here are a bit different from what i have experienced with menagerie's matte formula in the past not to say that they're bad but they are a different type of formula i feel like they're a bit they're still soft and pigmented but they are thinner overall when it comes to like feeling them and the differences between the palettes they're just a little bit thinner makes it so that you can work to build it up a little bit more and you don't have to be so scared of like dipping into the pan and getting too much that type of thing and then also too with the mattes there's only these two on this side and then these four and there are uh, a lot of the shades are very soft and pastelish so the looks that I was getting when I was using especially on this side of the palette when I was using these mattes were very soft and pastelish and I kind of wasn't expecting that I really did miss having a really dark shade in here to ground the look 
look. The only really dark one was this one up here, which was a shimmer, which did work. I did use it in that capacity, but you guys know me. I love my dark matte outer corner, so I missed that a little bit. But when we're talking about shimmer formula and these shades in here, they were so very pretty, so very fun. I really loved, especially the green and the orange. They were my favorite, just so beautiful. But if you want a hot pink, this is a hot pink, and depending on what you use, it could shift a little purpley too. So overall, it's a fun palette. I had a lot of fun creating different looks with it and whatnot, and I really did like the shimmer formula in this palette. They definitely have improved their shimmer formula, so with this palette, overall, I really did enjoy them. But when we're talking about the looks that I got when it came to, you know, combining all of these colors, that's where it was just a little bit, it landed a little bit lower, I guess right in the middle for me when it came to my Menagerie Cosmetics collections. But it is a super cute palette. I love Menagerie's palette packaging. They always do such a great job, and this one is no exception. All right, next in line is Indigo Ink. This palette was... Oh my goodness, let's just talk about the palette packaging. I absolutely love the palette packaging. It's just so beautiful. There's so much like indigo, purple, blue, red tones in this picture. I mean, I could look at it all day. It's definitely a display piece for me that I put back there just because it just makes me happy when I look at it. But going into the palette, this palette color story was very unique and different and it definitely surprised me a little bit when I was actually creating looks with it because it was a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. And I did, wasn't a fan that these two were so close. I felt like you could have taken one out and been able to put something else in there. However, I absolutely love this shade here. <laughs> This shade was so beautiful. This shade kind of made the palette for me because I love it so much. But also, uh, Shell Yao was an absolutely gorgeous shimmer to work with. These two shades down here were really pretty. They are more of a duo or multi-chrome type of formula. So depending on what you match it with, depending on the angle of the light and whatnot, it can show up differently, as is this one up here. Because from the angle here, I see purple, and you guys see blue. And from the angle here, this is more of like a almost a hot pink kind of shift to it. Not very strong. And then straight on, it's more of like a, a brown or something like that. And this one is it's almost like a black red and then straight on it's like a green and then this shade also has a pretty strong shift from the sides like a coppery tone and then straight on it's more green so there's a lot of very shifty beautiful shades in this palette if you like are someone who likes those type of shifts there's a lot of those shimmers in here and the formula is pretty nice I think they're a touch hard to pick up depending you know like pick up with a brush but once you get them on your eyes they're very very pretty and overall I just I enjoyed all the creative looks that I was able to get with this palette and that's why it's ranking pretty high in my countdown just because while it was a little bit challenging it was still very memorable and the looks that I got were just so beautiful and stick out so much in my head that I had to rank it pretty high and then as I said I just I just love the artwork on this palette it is so so pretty okay next up this palette might surprise you to be getting so high but this is the killer per palette and this palette is a neutral palette so like I said I feel like it might surprise some people to be like what a neutral palette so high however like look at these tones these tones are my type of neutrals and these tones are they're still color they're still like they're beautiful neutral earthy tones but there's still those pops of colors with this more blue, the green in here, the more like a brickish orange in here. There's a lot of gorgeous tones. I love the yellow and this more mustardy tones. This, this palette is just full of neutral shades that I love and that I don't get bored of. So that's why it's ranking so high. They, there were only two shimmers in this palette. Neither one I loved. This one definitely was the worst of the two. This one is just okay, but they're just so, uh, such a, uh, I don't know, a pass for me when it comes to shimmers. Like they're kind of just boring shimmers that I kind of just ignore them whenever I look at this palette and I really focus on the mattes and that's when I'm just like, oh my goodness, this palette is so much fun. And anytime I pull this palette to create a look, I always enjoy the type of neutral palette that I get from it. So I definitely had to rank this high. I love this shade right here. This green is just so, so pretty. The formula in here is very, very nice as well when it comes to the mattes. I already said that I wasn't a fan of the shimmers, but the mattes are really, really nice. And yeah, I love the cover as well. I think they're discontinuing this palette, which is super sad to hear, but I'm glad I own it. It's definitely, like I said, when we're talking about neutral palettes, this is a palette that ranks very high in my mind because I really do enjoy it. I think it's a fantastic neutral palette and just full of my tones, my depth, my hues that I love to wear when it comes to neutrals. Next up, I have always ranked this one very high in my mind whenever I talk about Menagerie, but this is the Whale Song palette. This palette right here, first off the cover, absolutely love it. One of my favorite covers when it comes to Menagerie palettes. I think it's so very beautiful with the whale and the fish and all the different beautiful colors and the little mermaid swimming underneath the whale. I love everything about it and could stare at it so very long. And then of course, when you open it, if you like grunge and blues and greens, 
You gotta own this palette, I feel like. This is just such a gorgeous, grungy palette. I absolutely love it. It's so pigmented when it comes to the mattes. Like, they are pigmented, they stain. Like, if I touch my finger to this, I will definitely, they're already stained, but I definitely will get a good amount of staining just from that blue, because it's just so intense and so, like, saturated when it comes to the colors. And then the shimmers in here, these two shimmers I actually really did like in this palette. I thought this formula was very nice, and it reminds me of their more recent shimmer formulas. So I don't know if they, like, took these and you know kind of expounded on them in the future palettes but these two I definitely did do like and anytime that I reach for this palette or think back on this palette and I use these two shades I really did like them these two I like this shade it's just very tricky to pick up on a brush I remember just having to struggle and then this shade I didn't like at all it was a little too crummy a little too messy when it came to you know you're using on the eyes and it's just uh, it's a throwaway color for me because it's not super super impactful on the lid so for me it was a bit of a throwaway but formula wise I really enjoyed these two they were very easy to work with very easy to pick up nice and sparkly nice and pigmented in color so overall this palette just stands out in my mind as one of my favorite from Menagerie Cosmetics so obviously it had to come in very high at the number two spot when it comes to my favorite palette from Menagerie Cosmetics this is number two for sure I'm sure number one is gonna come, to, no surprise to anyone, but that has to be the Annette and Menagerie Cosmetics collab, the Serenity palette. Like, look at this cover. Look at this cover. I have it usually back here, right there. That This empty spot, that's where I put this palette because it's just so beautiful, I have to display it. They did a great job with the cover. I love the butterflies and the beautiful flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. But then when you open it up, it just gets even more beautiful. Like, look at this palette. It is so lovely. The mattes in here are so pigmented, so smooth, so beautiful to work with, so colorful as well. They all, you know, kind of go together so flawlessly and effortlessly. I created so many very unique type of looks very effortlessly and easily with this color story. And then pairing the shimmers with it, the shimmer formula, uh, let's just start there. The shimmer formula is fantastic. Like, it is lovely to work with. I was very impressed that I liked pretty much all the shimmers. Yeah, all the shimmers in this palette I absolutely loved. And then beyond that, she did a great job. Annette did a great job picking the different shades of shimmers that she wanted to match with the mattes. And they just pop in so many different beautiful ways. And yeah, this is a palette that I constantly think back to the looks that I did and just have great memories of or just like fond memories of the looks. Or I want to go back and recreate them because I had so much fun and they were just so very beautiful. I love, you guys know I love yellows, oranges, and greens. So the fact that there's a bright yellow, bright orange, and bright green in the this palette with some greeny grungy tones in there as well. I knew I was gonna love this palette. Annette did a great job and I knew I was gonna love Menagerie's formula so when I picked this up it came as no surprise to me that I was blown away with this palette and absolutely loved it and therefore it comes as no surprise to me that this has to get number one spot when it comes to Menagerie Cosmetics and they're all the eyeshadow palettes I've ever tried from them. This has to get the top because the color story is just so fun and unique like there's nothing about this color story when I'm thinking about it and trying to think of all the looks that I created. Nothing clashed. Nothing was ever a struggle to get like there was enough for I mean there's not a ton of mattes in here. There's one two three four five six six mattes but I never felt like I was stumped to know what to put together next or I was stumped to know how to combine the colors they all went together so beautifully and the shimmers like I said they're all so bright and colorful and different and fun that it was a joy to work with so this has to come in at number one when we're talking about Menagerie Cosmetics it is such a good palette and I really wish it was a permanent palette because it's just it's just that good all right so there you have it this video I feel like is very short coming from me but I only have what was that seven or eight palettes from Menagerie Cosmetics and I love them all so this video is just very short and to the point I have videos on all of these palettes that I mentioned today, so I'll try to leave them linked down below if you want like more of a thorough review since I didn't really go in depth on them. If you want more of a thorough review, I'll leave them linked down below and you can definitely check them out. So if you enjoyed this type of video, definitely let me know that down below in the comments and let me know what brand I should do next. I definitely know like Nomad and Give Me Glow are two brands and Odin's Eye. Those are brands that I have a decent amount of their palettes that I could rank in this same fashion and do this type of video again. So let me know if you have a preference over which brand I do next. But yeah, yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. And if you want to continue getting daily content from me, I'm over on Instagram. I'm LadyKatie92 over there, and I post reels, up close eye pictures, all that sort of thing. And with all that said, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.